Good morning. Good morning. Nice. You guys are awake. Awesome. So, question for you today. Do you guys in your family, do you ever do nice things for your family? Sometimes. What's, do, you, do you maybe like help clean up when it's time to clean up sometimes? Do you guys help um, like take your dishes to the sink after dinner? Or Nice. That's so good. What else? I, I, I take the trash can and the recycling bin from the curb to, uh, to buy the garage so my dad doesn't have to do it. Nice. That's super helpful. I make my bed. You make your bed. Yes, sir. What else? Um, I do stuff. You do stuff that's helpful? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good. Exactly. So you guys do good things for your family. Now, next question. Is that what makes you part of your family is because you do good things for them? Yeah. No. If you do bad things at, with your family, does that mean you're not part of your family anymore? No. no. Well, what makes you part of your family? You're related. You're, you're related. You're um, Everything. You're a part of your life. Yeah. You were born by your parents. You were born into your family? Uh, Wait, what? Because your mom. There we go. Yes. Okay. So, next question How are we a part of God's family? How do we become part of God's family? By faith and reading the Bible. By getting baptized. By being created by Him. Ooh, by being created by God. Ooh. Uh, yeah? Exactly. Okay. Do we become part of God's family because of things that we do or because of what Jesus did for us? Because what Jesus did for us. That's right. So, in our Bible reading today, you guys are going to hear it in a minute when it's time for the Bible reading. So I want you guys to listen really carefully, okay? So in our Bible reading, a rich young ruler comes to Jesus and asks him, how can I have eternal life? And Jesus asks, says, well, you need to do, you need to follow all the commandments. You guys know what the Ten Commandments are, the no other gods, don't use, misuse, misuse God's name, remember the Sabbath day, all of those. You guys know those? Give me a thumbs up. Okay. He said, you've got to follow all of those. And you know what the ruler said? He said, I have, I have good news. I've been doing that since I was young. We're good. And Jesus said, well, then there's one more thing to do. Hold on. You need to sell everything that you have and follow me. Now, what do we know about this person? He's rich and he's a ruler. So do you think he wants to sell everything he has to follow Jesus? No. That was a big thing to ask him, huh? Selling everything and following. And so the ruler went away and he was sad because he couldn't do it. So that's a good thing for us to remember. Because Jesus asked him to follow all, he's like, you have to follow all the rules. But is that really how we get to heaven, is following all the rules? No. no. He said, really, what you need to do is love me and follow me. And that's what he was telling that rich young ruler is to do. You need to love me and follow me. And he just didn't know if he could do it. But he told him that because he loved him and he wanted him to know the truth. We're going to talk a little bit more about the rest of this story next week, okay? So what we want to remember, babe girl, what we need to remember and look at our lives and make sure that there's nothing in our life that's becoming more important than God, okay? Because we, we don't get to heaven by loving God, but we kind of keep our eyes focused on Jesus because he's the one that does the work for us, right? Okay. We're going to talk about this a little bit more next week. Can you pray with me today? Can you fold your hands? Okay. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to save us from our sins. Help us to put you first before everything else. 
and keep our eyes on you. We love you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Great job today. You guys can go back to your seats. Thank you.